Guys, welcome to game two between Gandhi and Arthur. I wish I could do a color switch on this blue just to see, but you can see Arthur. Upper right-hand corner, we have Gandhi starting as the red Protoss. Bottom right-hand corner, we have Arthur as the dark blue Protoss. This is going to be on Polypoid. And so it's going to be, I guess Polypoid lives, lives up to its name because here we've got two Polypoids in a row, right? Yeah, so polypoid, polypoid. I'm not sure if that was within the rule set or it was just accidental or what happened here, but it's a different game length. Or maybe it was like a remake from game one. Who knows? Maybe they're like, there was so much lag, let's just replay it. I'll have to see what happens in this game and if there's a game three. And if game three is on a different map, it could be also these players are just like, I don't like the rest of these. We'll just go ahead and play on polypoid again and sack the rules. Sack the rules altogether. Anyway. Arthur going ahead and dropping a pylon, actually scouting immediately after pylon, wants to be sure to get that scouting information, is moving to the upper right hand corner, is going to come uh, across Gandhi's base initially. Game one, Gandhi building some spare zealots early, which I thought was going to end up in a bit of a tech advantage for um, Arthur, but then Arthur just really, yeah, the shuttle, and again, this could be because of lag, there was actually really good positioning of the Dragoons comparatively to go ahead and, and take take the reaver within the shuttle out. However, ooh, probe gets inside the base immediately. I was thinking of actually dodging a little bit. I think it was thinking about maybe being a little bit sneaky here and there. This opens up, getting this early scouting information just opens up a lot of possibilities, by the way. Sees a double gate from Gandhi. So Gandhi's like, okay, you're going to have that probe here. I'm just going to drop both gateways to start. Assimilator warping in, and this might be a reaction to this early probe scout. Assuming, okay, I see the early probe scout, it's possible that my opponent was doing something cheesy. So I'm just going to go ahead and go for the more aggressive build. And actually, I think I like the more aggressive build in general because of the potential lag that's here. Because it, the more, this is kind of foreigner tactics, I guess, is the more lag you have, the more that zealots, especially early game zealots like this, can be a big factor. So... Initial zealot being built. It is possible just the initial three zealots and attempted micro from there. Only two probes in gas. I'm not sure if that was a mistake on Arthur's side from nerves, but dropping cybernetic score after the initial zealot. Here's the critical thing for uh, for Gandhi though, and I think upon scouting the upper left, let's see if it's going to be a cross scout. Is yeah, the initial zealots are there, but the zealots do not know where to go just yet. And right now, the way it's lining up, it looks like Gandhi's going to end up scouting this base last. And when you're wanting, when you're doing that initial zealot pressure, that's that's really disadvantageous. A little bit of lag here from Arthur getting probes out in the field and off their lazy butt. It looks like the three zealots are out. This is about the time they want to move. Probe's going to come with them. It looks no, okay, no. So the zealot got the kill again, probably because of lag. A probe's actually coming out to go three zealot and to expand, really. Two zealots on the front door for Arthur, building a Dragoon after this, and it's going to be one gate Robo, interestingly enough, from Arthur. And yeah, he's just cutting from here. So four initial zealots for pressure, and just cutting straight into Nexus. That is a ballsy move. And I have not seen... I, I've seen this build like once or twice. Sometimes it can work out, but this requires a lot out of your initial zealots. One, you need to maintain, you just need to not get counter rolled essentially by Dragoons. And you need to just hope that your opponent didn't get early Dragoons out and that you can get some sort of pressure up this ramp. And it looks like you have that initial zealot, initial handful of zealot, nice little bit of micro in spite of the lag from Gandhi, able to get one zealot down, starting to work on additional zealots. You can see the probe there gonna provide additional blocking, some nice micro from Arthur. One, so two zealots down, one zealot looks like it's gonna have to back off. And now Gandhi, yeah, coming back to home base. But here's the thing. Let's see if Arthur realizes with the lack of zealot pressure to follow, because usually you see that many zealots. It's like, okay, is there additional zealots coming? Still holding the ramp. Now he can easily hold that ramp, and he's got additional dragoons out. With the lack of additional zealot pressure, usually it's you got the two indicators. It's like, okay, one, did they go some sort of cheese immediately, like DT pressure follow-up, something along those lines. But seeing that there's no additional zealots whatsoever, let's see if he sends out an additional exploratory scout. He went immediately into Reaver Shuttle. And considering the delay, and so now we have additional Dragoons being built immediately into three gateway. 
but this is going to be very few units to cover two bases and he actually has two zealots now on the front th third zealot at the three o'clock location so he did build a handful of additional zealots and robotic speed and i do believe that this is just going to be a lot of territory to try to cover for gandhi it is possible with just some beautiful micro again with some lag being a factor here that arthur might get repelled and he might lose that shuttle once again but but i do feel like this is a a nice situation to just dive in and get all sorts of probe kills thing is is arthur does need to get something out of this reaver and shuttle because if he does not he is behind a base and he's going to be in all sorts of trouble immediately moving this shuttle up is he going to get spotted does not get spotted by that probe doesn't get spotted by the zealot either i'm going to go ahead and like cover it but gets oh probe gets hit initially by the dragoon shuttle readjusts its course speed is going to kick in at some point so he knew there were some dragoons up there i like that play from gandhi unfortunately so he's like okay my probe saw a probe coming in for scout i'm going to go ahead sorry my mouse is all over the place i'm going to go ahead and move across and catch that that pylon sees the shuttle now the dragoons are they reacting they're not reacting just yet shuttle speed still not there there they're reacting pulling right in front of that reaver there's some initial damage right there looking for a second shot huge amounts of probes killed the dragoons trying to hunt down that shuttle the shuttle speed not quite there yet and the dragoons grouping up muddling across gandhi's own sim city Oof, got out just in the nick of time now shuttle speeds up and you see you can see the dragoons are grouped up right there that's going to leave this natural expansion if the shuttle swings back around to go ahead and attack that natural arthur cut some resources here in the meantime i believe to go ahead and get his own natural expansion up but this gandhi still well ahead in probes because he's been pumping out of two bases versus just one so arthur does need to swing around and still press this it looks like he's going to group up with that reaver the rest of this attack force and once they're in a cohesive group he's just i believe going to attack this zealot might have an opportunity to sneak underneath and do some additional damage leaving going to pick up that second reaver so we'll see if the second zealot is able to sneak in and be an x factor here this is what a handful of dragoons but that's two reavers on the front and no reaver to speak of for quite some time for gandhi and keep in mind this is in close quarters moving up to engage getting a nice pinpoint attack on that first before the reavers are in play gandhi doing some nice micro on the reavers that are there taking out a lot of those dragoons shuttles down the one reaver down second reaver easily gets taken out and i believe gandhi might have done it we'll have to see this is he's still lacking reinforcements keep in mind he has four gateways up arthur though with four dragoons and four zealots going to be remaining with this attack force starting to press up to that natural expansion he needs to get as much damage done as he can as rapidly as possible probes actually coming off the line to assist in this attack if he can just buy himself some time he will end up ahead in this match the probes now engaging again keep in mind this is played in a lot of lag the zealot's still standing and gandhi gonna gg right there oh wasn't able to get reinforcements out in timing that he was and perhaps just in the lag uh pulling it out so arthur with a nice counterattack, actually want to see when the next wave was going to come out here we'll keep it so he's got this initial wave of dragoons i think he would have been okay so here we got what is this two more dragoons so we got three dragoons and it looks like they just got caught piecemeal trying to back it up to where it's cohesive the probes now pulling off the probes yeah just having trouble as part of this engagement it looks like yeah he didn't wait for the additional four dragoons i think he might have had time here because again this is just this is still four gate versus two gate overall i don't know if he realized what situation he was in and i want to make sure that that's a zealot in the bottom left hand corner I'm kind of curious what happened to that zealot Kind of curious what happened to the zealot in the meantime because i noticed that it okay it just came up in support just ran up and joined well played overall by arthur so we're going to move on to a game three and we'll see if it's on polypoid once again thanks for listening